Many settings and accessibility functions and features exist on Chromebooks. In this series, we're going to dive into how they can support student learning. Another option in terms of providing accessibility and differentiation for students is actually something that can be done on a Chromebook or any other computer, whether it's a Windows computer or a MacBook computer. It's done in the Chrome browser itself, and that is font size and font style. So let's take a look at how we can change that. Let's head to Google Chrome here on our Chromebook, keeping in mind that this would look exactly the same if I was on my MacBook or if I, I was on my Windows computer. I'm going to use this three dot menu in the top right to bring this menu up and I'm going to choose settings down here at the bottom. At this point, I'm going to head over to the left hand side and I'm going to choose appearance. So now what I need to do is take a look at font size and customize fonts. So be aware that medium is kind of the standard, the default, but this could be changed. So I could change it to very small, and this is what it looks like, or I could change it to very large. And so this is really helpful for any user that has some kind of visual impairment. I know that personally, as I become older, it does help to make things a little bit larger. And so that is an option for students. So this is definitely something that as you're working with your students, teachers can help students learn to change these settings and kind of customize their own environment. It definitely is a a very personal choice though. So it's not something that a teacher should decide for his or her students. Um, it's something that we would want to work in concert with our kids to make these decisions. The next one down is to customize fonts. So when we look at this, what we're looking at is they've got standard font, then they have something called a serif font, and then they have something called a sans serif font. So when we look at these, let's just take a look at what the difference is here. So I'm going to zoom in here on my, my Chromebook a little bit so that you can kind of see. A serif font, a serif in, an, in and of itself is a little tail. So if you notice, let me see how far I can zoom in here. Like for example, the K right here or the C, you see all these little tails. Those little tails are called serifs. And so when you have a sans serif font, sans in French means without. So now if you look at this one here, let me see if I can zoom in, you can see that the, all those little tails are missing, okay? So some students who have trouble with visual tracking are going to do better without all of the little curly cues or the little tails. There's also an option for a fixed width font down here. So you can see what happens here is that you get a little bit more space depending on the font between words. And so sometimes, again, depending on our students and their needs, some of them will do better with that white space built into the reading environment. So these fonts options are just choices that you can work with your students to be able to customize their up the appearance of their browser and be able to have more success hopefully in this environment as they work to navigate and read. <music>